Cycle one, week 14, number 125, spoon pen. So this um, one is going to be talking about scratch testing. And so scratch testing is used in the process of classifying different minerals or figuring out what kind of um, mineral is a certain one because certain minerals will, help, will leave a certain color of streak on a scratch plate. So you can show, again, Nicole Liam's notes are so wonderful. She has a color sheet that would show some of the more common minerals and what color streak they would leave on a streak plate. So after you've talked through that different concept and basically remember what they're leaving, they're actually, it's actually leaving the dust of that mineral on the streak plate. That's what's being left is the mineral itself. And it helps to uh, help scientists know, oh, this is definitely this mineral because this mineral is known to leave this color streak. So we're going to let the kids try it. So all the kids are going to get a little streak plate. I got these from Cornerstone Educational Supply. They are basically just unglazed white porcelain tile. <clears throat> and every kid is going to get a spoon. Okay. And they're going to scratch on, on the tile. And it does leave a mark. And so we can talk about, because it leaves a mark, we know that this is actually made of a mineral and it is made, these are stainless steel spoons. So it's actually dust of the spoon being left. We're actually like basically tearing up the edge of the spoon by rubbing it across and it's leaving behind part of itself. Um, so the powder color is gray because one thing that this notes is that even though, which one was it? Sapphires come in all different colors, all of their streaks are gonna be white. So just because a, a certain rock is a certain color doesn't mean that's what color its streak will be, which is one thing that, that makes it um, easy to identify is that the streaks will always be a certain color and those colors are known. So I actually rated my son's rock collection and kind of went to town on a street plate to see if I had any that would leave marks and he has lots of colorful rocks and almost none of them left a mark but I did find a couple that did this one is red and I think it might be hematite it might be hematite but it leaves a lovely red mark and so I believe I have enough that I will give each class a couple of these so they can pass them around and um, do a streak test. And just, it'll be cool for kids to see, oh, they actually are different colors. This is another one. This is pyrite or fool's gold. And I have to ask my son's permission before I send these to class, but I did want to show you that they are very different. Watch this streak. It's like really dark dark. I think I would call it black. I don't know what a scientist would call it, but compared to the stainless steel spoon, you see the difference? It's hugely darker than the spoon. So that's very interesting. So a, um, a scientist might find a mineral in the ground and say, I don't know what this is. Let's streak test it. And they would streak test it and say, oh, it's red. Well, I know that red streak test color means that it's hematite. So that's how this is used. So all the kids will have one of these, and I think for my community, they will they will all keep these, um, I think is my plan. Although it does wipe off fairly well. I wiped it off, and almost all of it came off except for the fool's gold. So I don't know if they can be reused or not. I don't know if it's worth the trouble. But anyway, the second thing for this week is called sampler. And this is when you're going to be talking about um, core sampling and how scientists take core samples of the Earth's crust to learn things about um, our crust. So you can talk about our the different layers of the Earth. And we will talk more about this in future weeks, so you don't have to go hugely into that. But I have three colors of Play-Doh, three different colors of Play-Doh um, that you'll find and we're just gonna smush it out and it doesn't need to be even. In fact, I'm gonna try to not make it even. Okay, I'm gonna try and make it different because we're gonna end up poking a straw, but I do, I do want all my kids to be able to do this. So I'm gonna make it big enough that it's big enough for all the kids to poke a straw into. <clears throat> So 
So I'm going to make that side fatter and this side skinny. And then the third color. So remember, basically what we're talking about is how core sampling can tell us more about what the crust is made of at that certain place. Okay, so I've got my three layers. And now I'm going to take a straw and just shove it all the way through, just all the way down. And we're going to let every kid do this. I'm going to twist it around just so it will come out really easily. Okay, I'm going to twist as I come up. I haven't tested this in three years, so hopefully this will work correctly. And then I have teeny tiny little sharp scissors. And we're going to cut down the straw. to get our core samples. So this is basically how scientists get core samples is they drill down with a thing similar to this open. Oh, look at that. I did not get, I was not successful. I did not get all the way down. Let me try again. <clears throat> I don't know what I did wrong, what my technique was. So you can learn from my, my mistake. Let's come back out and see what happens. I don't think I got blue that time either. Hmm. wonder what my problem is. Maybe I need to press it together a little bit better. I'm going to flip it over and go for blue. And maybe even, maybe I'll even just push it through. That might work better. It's not quite exactly the way core sampling is, but um, this, I really want it to show. So, Core sampling is drilling down into the earth. So I used my tiny little scissors to cut straight down the, the um, straw. And then we're going to open up our, our straw or our drill. And we have our core sample. And we can see what it's made of. And it'll be cool if you let everybody poke it in. If you made it different thicknesses, like if it's not all the same everywhere, then everyone's core sample ought to be a little different. So this one, I've got um, a fair amount of pink, a, only a little bit of orange, and then a lot of blue. And so someone else might do it and find the opposite. And so that can tell us more about, um, about what the core in those areas are made of. So that is week 14.